All right, you asked for it, you get it. Let's talk about Axon. The pieces that come in this set rock. The set itself, it rocks. And the ways that people have reimagined the character are insane. Let's talk about all those things in this video today and appreciate the full beauty that is Axon. It's the man with the big axe and the even bigger hands. Axon is an iconic Bionicle set. I mean, the fact that these fingers were poseable like this. Oh, I remember people back in the day when this set debuted, they lost their minds. Everyone thought this hand design was so cool and suddenly everyone's mocks had poseable fingers like this. It was a good time. Axon left an impact in the mocking and Bionicle fandom. Yeah, and Axon's also got this awesome chest armor, a fantastic stout and strong look. He's a 10 out of 10 set. But the parts that come in this set, well, they're pretty good too. For example, Axon comes with this fantastic mask. And of course, you could get this mask and use it as a mask for your own custom character. Sure, but there's many other uses for it. Maybe you could do something similar to what Tony A has done here on his mock Overseer. So the head is actually lower down on this mock, just at the bottom here. And we can see that there's two Axon masks that have been placed together like this. And then in the center where there's that little gap, we can see an eye poking out there. That's just such a wonderful head design, isn't it? Plus it's very fitting for this rather uniquely proportioned character. And additionally, you could also use Axon's mask like Eclipse Caller has done here. So two of them have been placed on the knees. Who'd have thought that using these for knee armor looked so good? I especially love the fact that the spike that sticks out of the top of Axon's mask, in this context, it looks like just villainous armor detailing. It looks like the kind of armor you would see on a character you have to defeat in a video game. Yeah, this mask fits perfectly within this context of a skeleton with silver armor. Oh, and hey, this mock also has Axon's axe. It's got some slight modifications going on, but it still uses those axe pieces. And while we're talking about that axe piece, this set of course comes with them. Let's take a look at a couple different ways that you could implement it in your creations that aren't in an axe context. So Joxon has a wonderful creation here that uses this axe piece and he's kind of like embedded it in this chest design. Now that's a great idea to just totally surround this piece and hide all of the areas of the back of this part and purely just bring the focus forward to the very tip of this piece. So now it just looks like a nice curved silver line and it really enhances this alien sci-fi look of this creature. I think that's a really good philosophy to have if you wanna create a really interesting design or do some sort of clever part use. Can you really embed a piece into a larger design and cover up a lot of sections of it? That way you only showcase one or two areas of the piece and you can kind of give it this whole brand new context. Have a think about that next time you build. It might help you find some really interesting techniques. Or maybe you could do something a little bit less subtle and do something like Ted Anders has done here on his mock Heroes of Oz. So using the axe on the doors of this gate here, it really does look like some sort of engraved fancy metal detailing. That's a very smart way to use it. If you want to build a cool system diorama, that's a really great way to blend in a few Bionicle pieces with those other system elements. And on the subject of that, why not build a cool little system diorama or a nice gate or a wall next time you build a Bionicle character? Building a nice system backdrop, it could look really cool. Yeah, this is a very different way to use that piece, but it still is super, super clever. The set also comes with four of these three by three pin connector pieces in silver. Now we can see them placed on Axon's rather large feet. They're just up the back here. Now, yeah, that's one way you could use that piece. Use it in a more subtle way for some nice armor detailing, or you could do something like Trick Mox has done here on his build, Vrug the Speed. See how the torso design uses three of this specific silver piece to create this stunning segmented torso design? The look of this, it reminds me of Iron Man's armor, specifically how it looks on the torso. You know, the lines of it and the way it bends and moves as Tony Stark flexes and moves his torso, you know, it mirrors this design. Yeah, that's a really helpful piece if you have a few of them, you can maybe create something like this, because it does look pretty cool. Now, another more subtle way that you could use this piece is how Frenes J has done it here on his Mutran and Vicken revamp. So looking here at this upper leg design, we can see that nice silver leg armor piece. And then just below that, we see one of those silver three x three pin connector pieces. Putting that piece there allows you to just subtly extend the silver a little bit more. And also you get to armor up the sides of this lime leg piece. It truly is one of the best pieces to use if you need to get some really nice looking leg armor. You also get a few of this piece. Now these are super helpful for mocking. It allows you to clip ball joints on one side and then an axle on the other. Now Matt Goldberg has a Metroid inspired mock that uses this piece. Now when we zoom in, we can see that they've used it here on the knee design to help bridge it up into the upper leg. And then we can also see it here on the elbows and it serves exactly the same purpose, just in a different spot. Now, yeah, this isn't the most fancy technique. It's not really got the same kind of like insane part use going on as you know, other stuff that we might've seen before, but this piece is still very helpful for designing limbs and it allows you to transition between different limb segments with great ease. So yeah, less glitz and glam going on with this piece. 
but when you use it, it's super, super helpful. It's kind of an invaluable piece. And now for a part that has a little bit more glitz and glam to it, this is a dark red Visorak foot, and Frenes J has used it here for some nice torso armor. Given how prominent this piece is on the mark, it's certainly more of a focal point now. But yeah, it offers some unique crotch armor, and it also has some cool looking shoulder armor that blares out in this awesome V shape, and it makes this character look really cool and dynamic. It's a great piece to use to armor up your mocks a little bit. So the set also includes some of these 1x2 lift arm pieces. And again, this is a piece that will help you internally. You're probably just going to cover it up with other pieces later, but it's going to be helpful for some more of the framing and internal structure. Unless you do a creation like Mitch Henry did here. A bunch of them are repeated here on this lower arm and the leg design too. However, these ones are in light gray. And when they're interdispersed between some of these uh, 1x3 teardrop lift arms, it creates such a funky pattern. It's a really good limb design. We also see one of these 1x2 lift arms in dark bluish grey and it's just placed there on the waist. Yeah, it's got all kinds of uses. It's a very helpful piece. So that's the parts that come in this set. But how could we revamp and reimagine Axon? So Axon's a titan set, right? Big set with lots of pieces. Well, what if you built him but he's more the size of a standard Toa? Well, that's exactly what Trickmox has done here and isn't it just brilliant? I mean, look at that waist armor. It's such a splendid idea to use those Thornax launcher pieces. Uh, these are the same ones that come on the weapons that we see on most of these Glatorian characters. But yeah, using that to give Axon this like metal waist armor, so good. And check out how they've also used Bulk's 1.0 torso for Axon's torso armor. There appears to be one on the back as well as one on the front. I love the energy of this and especially the energy of the spikes coming out of the shoulders. This smaller axe that's using one of the G2 weapon pieces, that's a really nice way to downgrade the weapon, but still make it look really impressive. Oh, and then smaller fingers. I love that he keeps his iconic finger design, but it's more in scale with this smaller version. And it's still poseable. It's brilliant. Now for our next mock, which reimagines both Axon and Brutaka, but this time they're using a lot more modern CCBS pieces. And for the most part, they don't really use any pieces that actually come in the original sets. I mean, look, Axon and Brutaka, they make for the perfect pair. The sets next to each other, it's an iconic duo, so it's great to see both of them reimagined here. And what I also like about this is both of these mocks are essentially just what these characters would look like if they appeared in 2015 when the Binacle G2 sets came out. And that's a, I've always thought that was a really fun concept. Rebuilding the iconic G1 characters, but in the style of G2 sets with G2 pieces. It's just so cool to me. Now this new mask design, kind of turning the face into something that looks more like an oxygen mask. Very distinct. And the way that the torso uses the Django Fett Ultra Build torso piece, that's a great inclusion. Yeah, I always love seeing those printed torso pieces being worked so well into designs like this. Sometimes those pieces can be a little bit tough to integrate because they're so coded to be Star Wars pieces. But this is a nice exception to that rule. It's a perfect fit. The axe is great too. You know, the way that the sharp edges flare up like that. It's just got a very different energy to it. And I can appreciate that. I love how every single part of this mock is actively trying to revitalize and reimagine the character. Nothing feels too samey. It's so different, it's so delightful. And now we have Axon, powerful Seer of Truth, and this is built by the Carnus Dragon. So this revamp keeps a lot of what the original set had going on, but now it's a lot taller and each limb is a little bit buffer. And I like that because this new body design makes him look like a hero fresh out of comic books. And I think this new body design fits a lot better with the shape and the size of the hands. Because look, as good as that original design was, it did feel a little bit too big for the scale of the set. And now it doesn't feel out of place at all. Yeah, this might just be my favorite revamp of Axon. I really, really like it. Although I say that, this next one's pretty cool too. This is Axe Off by Kevin H. Now we mentioned those huge hands before. Now I enjoy that Kevin, he kind of ran with that idea and he made every single part of the body huge. So we've got a more comically bulky character, but it really works. And check out this giant ax as well. The inclusion of those cool trans orange edges. What a great choice. Also the idea of using a Ferno mask and placing a red Hero Factory torso that's upside down in front of the mask to give it a more interesting kind of faceplate. That's just really fun. But the fun doesn't end there. Kevin has an image here of an edited version of this mock, where he's edited the colors to look like the original. And what's great about this is I really like this new color scheme of yellow, red, and black. But the classic colors also look delightful. It's great to see both of them. So look, if you're a bit of a Photoshop ninja and you can do something like this, why not? It's a fun little experiment with colors and it's a very different way to build a Bionicle character. I've honestly never seen this before. Very original and very cool. So that's Axon. 
and that's some ways that you could revamp him, and that's some ways you could use his pieces. Now, is Axon a part of your LEGO collection? I mean, if you have him, you also need to get Brutaka as well, because the two of them look too perfect together for you to only have one of them. Axon's great, man. Now, be sure to check the links in the description and see more from the builders that I featured today. And otherwise, have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching, happy building, and bye for now.